Imagine you have nine balls. Uh, I wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> and one is a little heavier. Oh man, I'm in trouble. I gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> you have a, sorry, I have to say it. You have a beam scale and are allowed to are allowed to weigh three times to find the heavier ball. Oh, let's check this out. Let's read the other one too. The two digit A B. Oh, we got a couple of riddles going on. Oh my god. I love Spider-Man. Math is fun. Math is fun. Hey, quick question. Serious medical <laughs> right there. <laughs> Imagine you have nine balls and one is a little heavier. So you got nine balls. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine right i love spider-man we'll read your thing after this one can you explain all calculus to me sure calculus is an introduction of time into mathematics so it's the rate of change so going into calculus if you're studying calculus just think of it as time rate of change and the only absolute in life is change so calculus is pretty damn important right a little heavier you have a beam scale and are allowed to wait three times to find the heavier ball. What would you do? So we have a scale. We've got three, three times we could weigh things. What would you do? And we've got nine balls total. I mean, the ideal thing would be you would break it in what would i do i would do this let's see if this is going to work i would weigh five balls in one four balls in another right and you would calculate per unit ratio so you would weigh this you would put five balls here would that work and then divide whatever you get by five. Put four balls here. But three times doesn't work. And you get this number, right? If this is bigger than that, you know your big balls in here. And then what do you gotta do? If you had if you if you could do it four times, you could do this easy. Break this in half again, weigh them and then you know you can do the next one and you're done right like a seesaw move them around oh like a seesaw so it's like this oh my bad so that one we could do with four weigh-ins i'm pretty sure nice job when does calculus turn to physics mm -hmm. Mathematics is just the language, base language of everything. It's a beam, beam scale. That's not what you call them. So we got this guy. So we got nine balls. So what are we going to do? Nine balls. So what would we do? Do we have to have all nine balls on the beam scale at the same time? You have a left and a right side of that scale. How is that scale? How is that? Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Just pit it. So you can't, you have to weigh all the balls at the same time. So, so you can't take eight balls and put them. Always count two of them. Just pit it up and weigh the heavier half each time. You're free to do what you want. You're free to do what you want. So I would put four balls here, four balls here, right? If this thing is level, whatever ball that was left out is your big ball. <laughs> I'm just cracking up saying that, right? Twice you get the answer until you have the last. So you weigh it once, four here, four here, I'm just uh, exercise like I don't know if this is the answer so if these are totally level then that one is 
the ball you're looking for. If this tilts, then obviously the heavier one is going to be on the side where it's tilting down, right? So if this thing goes down this way, you eliminate these guys. Then you put two here, oops, two here and two here. If this one tilts, then you put one here, one here, whichever one tilts is the big ball, right? Uh, twice you got the answer until you have the last two same solution best case check cool cool you can just add two balls uh, evenly and when it tilts you know you know that seems like cheating hmm that's true Dante you could do that too two balls here two balls here if it tilts then one of them is the heavier contains the heavier so you could actually theoretically do it in two measurements this one if you're lucky you could do it in one on the first go you just put one ball on either side if they weigh the same you discard them repeat three the, the kicker is uh, so one ball once twice you could only do it three times you you could only weigh three times right because if it would be multiple measurements so to speak okay I got it wrong you're allowed to weigh two times only now <laughs> you're allowed to hey you're changing the rules of the game <laughs> no i mean you can start with one each and keep adding uh, but that should count as multiple measurements yeah that would that would count as multiple measurements that's what i would think too right so if you added those guys if it stays level then you gotta add more you add those ones keep track of what you're adding if it stays level you gotta add more but that's already passed the two measurements right I swear there's a similar problem about weighing 13 people with uh, with identifying one person being heavier yeah I mean to use two on one side and don't need four uh, on start so if you use two if they're heavy one is heavier you got on the second one if you use two one is not heavier how would you do it with two ways I don't know how you would do it with two ways split the ball into three groups you chose three groups oh oh split the ball into three groups that's not a bad idea let's check it out but then how do you isolate the one that's the heaviest one? Oh, because it's three so So split them into three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Take this one and that one, put them here. Right? If it stays level, then you know the heavy one is in this one. Right? If it tilts, discard this one, and then take two of these guys, put them here. The one that tilts is the heavy ball. If it stays level, it's this guy great break him into threes nice zoot awesome right oh logic takes place yeah break him into threes awesome that's better with the other way if you're lucky you get it in one way in victory victory awesome that was great what was uh spider-man's uh, little riddle doop doop spider-man's riddle or spider-man's question let's check it out I love Spider-Man. What do we got? Let's check it out. The two-digit number AB stands for 10A plus B. Since the first digit represents tens and the second represents units. Ooh, I'm already confused. If 10A plus B equals 7A plus B, then 10a plus b equals 7a 7b and if 3a equals 6b or or more simply a plus, that is the second digit must be twice the first the smallest such number is 21. i'm just going to write down the equations that's what makes sense to me 10a plus b 10a plus b is equal to 7a plus b 